Now that we've seen all the different types of muzzle loaders, it's important to note that just about all of them are available in several different types of calibers. The most commonly seen calibers today are the 45, the 50, and the 54. Now the word caliber refers to the diameter of the bore as it is measured in inches. 54 caliber means that it is 0.54 inches wide. 50 caliber means that it is 0.50 inches and so forth. Now the shooter's selection of caliber depends on the type of rifle he plans to shoot, the variety of the game he plans to hunt, and the ranges at which he's likely to be shooting. Over the past several years, the 50 has become the most popular of all calibers, simply because it's the most versatile. With today's projectiles, you can use a 50 caliber on any game animal in the world. We've even used the 50s on Cape Buffalo over in Africa. In fact, heavier bullets are available in the 50 than even the larger diameter 54 caliber. Use of the 54 caliber today is just about limited to the flint lock and cap lock shooters who are still using round balls. And these are mostly used for big game animals like bear and moose. Big ones, yeah. The other really popular caliber today is the 45. The 45 caliber is what we refer to as a specialty caliber meaning that it's superior in special situations. Now, Chad and I almost always shoot the 45 caliber because of the long-range performance of the 45. It's much better than what we can achieve when we use a 50. Simply put, a 45 will shoot flatter and farther than the 50 because of the smaller diameter of the projectile itself and the increased pressures created by the smaller bore. And by choosing the right projectile for the game, we're sure to get plenty of knockdown power, even for elk size game. So the caliber you choose should be determined by the type of hunting you intend to do. If you want a gun that will do it all, the 50 caliber is the way to go. However, if you do a lot of long range shooting like I do and hunt mostly deer sized game, the 45 is unbeatable. Clear enough. Chad and I next are going to tell you about the various components of the charge. Now by that we mean the propellant and the projectile and the ignition. And you'll see that there are several different varieties of each. And we'll start right now with the propellants.